Okay. Um, don't mind the mask. As long as I'm intelligible with the mask on, I may continue to use it. I like the way my face looks better with a mask on it. I was on my way into the office this morning, and I passed a cab, and it had on its top, as cabs often do, at least around here, an advertisement for some strip joint, basically. I had the name of the strip joint, which I won't repeat because I'm not particularly keen on giving free advertising to strip joints. Underneath it said, The Best Gentleman's Club. I don't think it actually had quotes around it, it even though I just did the bunny years. And I thought to myself, The Best Gentleman's Club? According to whom? By what standard? By what measure? And then I thought, what if claims in advertising had to be backed up? I was thinking particularly about things like Wikipedia, but also just in a, in a, any kind of journal article or whatever. Even a, you know, a, a nonfiction book. When they're meant for the general public, if they refer to some particular fact, scientific fact, historical fact, whatever, that they don't elaborate on, uh, give a reference, a footnote, an endnote, whatever. It would be funny if somebody went up to that sign and did a little graffito that said, citation needed, like in Wikipedia. Because, I mean, that's, that's a bold claim. The best gentleman's club? The best? How do you measure the quality of gentlemen's clubs. I mean, did they ask some guy that they always give free drinks to, what do you think about our club? And he says, it's the best gentlemen's club I've ever been in. I mean, does that count as a citation? I think it would be wonderful if advertising in general, especially now that the technology exists for this to be conceivable, had to be cited when it makes claims. Well, like for instance, you know, if, if something says the best gentleman's club, they need to have a little like note or maybe a you know, hyperlink or uh, some other kind of QR code or some equivalent of that that people can look at and scan and see the source of that. Like the best gentleman's club. This is a quote from some random passerby or there was a poll in some gentlemen's magazine, so to speak, of, you know, rank the gentlemen's clubs in South Florida, of the ones that you've been to, and this was the unanimously chosen best one. And I mean, if there was an actual poll, although, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean anything, at least they could refer to it. They probably would if there was, don't you think? They'd probably make a big deal of it. Seems like a sensible thing to do. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I get annoyed by claims being made in general, without reference. It's a big problem in politics. That may be the place where it's the biggest problem because it has the most consequences. But in advertising, it sways a lot of people. There's a reason they do it. Doesn't necessarily mean, of course, that advertisers have actually done the study and that everything they do actually works as they think it does. Nevertheless, there are some things that obviously work. Linking products with attractive people in advertisers, advertisements, excuse me, definitely generates some association in a certain number of people, increasing the overall statistical percentage number of people who go for that product. And of course, like I say, politicians, emotive speaking, rhetoric, as opposed to persuasion and logic and reason, involves the saying of many things that are, if not unjustified, at least not justified at the time. They're not backed up by anything. And it would be nice if they had to do that. Instead of other people, say, in a political debate, simply performing rhetoric of their own, making fun of, laughing at, blah de blah blah how about saying, now, at this point in your speech, you said this. Do you have any references for that? Can you point us toward the source for that data? 
that datum, I guess, if it's one thing. It would be nice. But in advertising, at least, it would certainly be nice to have, you know, little QR codes on TV. I mean, you could have a little uh, red button thing on your uh, remote control where when they make a claim, you know, Coke, some guy says, I'm loving it. A little flash down there, you click at it. This is a paid actor who has been given the line, I'm loving it, to read out. This should not be taken as a statement that this individual actually loves Coke. And then if they, you know, they could use that to their advantage by getting people who actually do love Coke. There are plenty of people who do, uh, as there are people on the, the commercials. Because uh, often you'll see that when they have people on the commercials as real, real customer, not a paid actor. And there could be standards about whether or not that person really is a real customer and to what degree someone has to be unsolicited to count as a real customer. Wouldn't it be nice if, if people had to provide citations and back up their claims? Or just to say, if they make a claim like, so-and-so is an idiot, and then have a little claim that, that links to a statement, this is a statement of a personal opinion about this other person. It is not based upon any uh, measured data of the individual's testing scores, grades in school, etc., etc. So people could know, okay, that's just that guy doesn't like him, basically, so he's saying he's an idiot. And let's face it, it can be fairly said of all of us that we are idiots. So it's not really giving a lot of information about somebody. It's giving you information about the fact that the other person doesn't like them, which is information. And to the degree that you say, you know, I tend to agree with this guy about other people. And I, in my, in my judgment, he sure seems right a lot of the time about the quality of another person's character. So if he says that person's an idiot, I suspect he's right. Or alternatively, you could say, I don't know, this guy's not like people that I ended up thinking were pretty respectable. Uh, I'm taking that with a very large grain of salt. Or you could see, you know, the best gentleman's club. This is a statement of opinion made by the owner of the club. They could even say, this is a statement of the owner of the club's intended goal and his vision for this gentleman's club to be the best gentleman's club. I know it's, it's quite silly, obviously, but it's frustrating how often things are said in advertising, in politics, even in now with journalism nowadays, they don't, they back up the statements by referring to Twitter as if that were a source of data other than data about what's being said on Twitter, as if it were a place of deep argument and discussion, 240 characters at a time. I, I mean, I like Twitter. It, it's fun for certain things, but a venue for deep discussion, it is not. And Facebook is better than Twitter for that, and that is quite an indictment, because Facebook is terrible for that. Go WordPress. That's, and in YouTube, actually, there's a decent number of good didactic discussions of various kinds on YouTube. It would be nice if people had to provide citations for statements that appear to be factual. And statements of opinion that are given as if they were factual could have a, a standard marker that reads opinion, pure and simple. This is not based on any data whatsoever. It is merely this person's gut reaction. Anyway. Random thoughts about some random thing that I saw. Not any of my planned topics of discussion. I may insert this in between other things. I may put it out at the end of this week. We shall see. But I wanted to talk about it because I thought it was kind of funny. And I also kind of thought, why wouldn't it be great?